Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. This is Converse Seat With Us with Chris Donovan and Evelyn Rivas. <laughs> Oh my god, I do not what you do? I just hurt myself again. What did you Jesus? Do? What did you just do right now? Okay, I'm so sorry that I started that. That's way too loud for a lot. I I apologize. Can we start that over? <laughs> go no, ahead, I kinda liked it. it. Hit it. Oh, you want to push the button again? Yeah, go hit the button again. This is Converse Seat with us with Chris Donovan <laughs> and Evelyn Rivas. Okay, so I'm sorry. I was laughing. I assume That's you're something leaving. We'll talk about later. Okay, all right. <laughs> Just, just, just open the show like All right, hi, with, welcome. Like we forgot. Oh, I don't even remember how to do this show anymore. It's been weeks, and it's been, uh, it feels like maybe years. Has it been years? It's been a hell of a few weeks, it's I It's been a really, really crazy, rough, we always say this, and I hate making that excuse, but I am telling you right now what I have not wanted to record. So there, that's exactly right, and I'll get into exactly why. Uh, coming up in just a little bit. And thank you for your patience for, I received messages. Mm-hmm. When is there going to be another show? And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I For those who reached out specifically, I specifically answered why. Chris and I are in a, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it has nothing to do with Chris and I. <laughs> wow, I was wondering where that was going. I'm like, we actually celebrated an anniversary in the did. meantime all over the f- last few weeks. Um. Let's, let's get to start, our food. First. Let's start with the food. Yeah, because that's what I Because there's talk a about. lot to talk about. So let's start with the food. And thank you again for being patient with us, being gone, being off for a few um for a few weeks. Uh it's been a trying few weeks, but I'm in better spirits today, so I'm excited to talk today. Yeah, she hasn't talked to me in weeks. Weeks. We haven't talked in weeks. Which honestly hasn't really been that. We make bad. eye contact sometimes. Nah. I smack your butt sometimes. Eye contact when I'm staring at the TV and you're in my way. Um, so oh. we, we, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's love. That's love right there, guys. It's love. Teenage. Uh, we're in our teenage years of being married. <laughs> yeah. um, we're supposed to be smart asses. So, yeah, no, I went to a new place this last week, not this week, last week, uh, for breakfast burritos, which was in Riverside. Yeah, and it was really, it was uh, one of those days where I was super starving in the morning. Me and too. I saw I was tracking you on Life 360. See, I can't do shit you without can't, her knowing you everything. Okay, well, here's what happened actually. Um, I I saw an alert that you, I think you were late to drop off Aiden one morning, and so I was like, oh no, they didn't make it on time. So I, that is why I truthfully was looking. So um, I, I saw that all happening, and then I noticed you were taking a different route home. Yeah, traffic is crap. And I'm like, he's going to his Sancha. And I'm like, where the <laughs> F is this guy going? What's the Sancha? I'm just, I'm just like side chick. I was, oh, I, you oh, know, oh. like Sancho. I was just saying, Sancha? girl. <laughs> oh, I never heard that term before. I was make. I just made it up. But it's Sancho. I was thinking Sancho, Sancha. Well, I mean, your you side chick. Like, your side chick. My side chick. Okay. Anyway, and so I was like, okay, what's he doing? What's he up to? Where's he going? And then I just kind of let it be or whatever. And I texted you and I was like, are you good? Where are you going? And you're like, oh, I'm going to go get a breakfast burrito at this new place. And I was like, is that code? For side chick? No. <laughs> I'm going to go get a meaty breakfast burrito. <laughs> I'm going to go give one. <laughs> okay, when the kids are in the, I think the kids are in the living room. Probably, um, but whatever. We have to be careful. They uh, have the Can internet. you stop squeaking your mic? <laughs> yeah, I know. Where's my WD-40 at? Jeez. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so you went to a new place. Yeah, it's called R Burgers off of University. R? R, just the letter R. R. Like not R. Not like, uh, <laughs> like a pirate. O-U-R, like not our, it's R, just R. R. Just the letter not R. A-R-E. My guess is it used to be something, something, something that ended with an R burgers, and, and then they just took off the front part and left the R. Yeah. But beside that, it was really good. The burrito huh. is called the trio. Yeah. So when I heard you were doing that, I was like, uh. I didn't you, even know what they had. Want to bring me one? It just said breakfast. <laughs> I'm figuring, like, I probably got a burrito. Yeah. And so I asked for one. And I go, and they had some options. Uh, one of the options was, was chorizo. Mm-hmm. But I was a little afraid because sometimes it could be too spicy for you and all that good stuff. So yeah, it depends on how they make it. They had this one called the Trio. Okay. And it had potatoes, bacon, ham, okay. and sausage. Damn. I know. It's and a lot. a sauce e- of eggs. some sort. 
Eggs. Yeah, eggs. I forgot. Why did I forget eggs? Eggs. And yeah. Eggs. That's <laughs> yeah. If you don't have eggs in your breakfast burrito, is it a breakfast burrito? Mm. It's not. Uh, it's no. It's not lunch or dinner. Dinner uh, burrito. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I've never thought about it like that. I is a like, hot dog a sandwich? I mean, that's off topic, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it had all that stuff in there. Um, uh, the one thing that you said was lacking, and I didn't even notice when I was halfway through mine was cheese. There was no cheese. I didn't notice it at all. So he brings it over. He drives it up, and he's like, "Here, here's a baby leg," and it was <laughs> massive. It was so huge. And the guys, it's so you know, work with two dudes in the morning, and they're like jealous. They're they always are like, "When's Chris bringing breakfast by?" Because they always know you like drop stuff, little things to me sometimes. <laughs> Remember when I used to do it in the X1039 truck? Yeah, so that was really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, the X103.9 truck is dropping off food to 991 KGGI. <laughs> I was like, That's, don't do that anymore. I'm that getting me in trouble. Awesome. Um, anyway, so yeah, so the guys were like, what, why are you walking outside? Oh, why did he bring you food? And you didn't, I was like, I didn't know he was doing it. I didn't, all like, <laughs> flipping your hair. I'm flipping Sorry. my hair. Oh my God, my boyfriend likes me. Okay. So I go outside, I grab it. I was like, oh my God, this thing is massive. And then he's like, well, you break. <laughs> I, said, I figured you could cut it into like a, lug, like a loaf. No, there's a way that you said it. You said like, well, you could break off a piece for the guys. And I was like, <laughs> I'm definitely not going to say that when I walk in. Chris said I could break off a piece for you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not. That's probably not uh, HR's. Um, they're not going to want to hear that. No, I was like, not at all. Not saying that, dude. Not started laughing. Walked but in. Did you give him a piece? I broke off half a piece. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, I told ODM, I was like, here, because I knew that Garrison wouldn't eat it because he doesn't eat pork. So, mm-hmm. and it was the trifecta of pork. It yeah. was bacon, sausage, and ham. And ham. So I was like, dude, this is too much pork. He's not going to eat this at all. And so anyway, yeah. So I cut it in half. There was no way. Neither one of us could finish it. Julian finished mine. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. But the one thing I noticed, and I know I don't get salsa on things. Yeah. So I know that would have made it more moist. And that's probably why, <laughs> why I didn't notice it, because I added a bunch of salsa, salsa while to your, eating it. Yeah, so it makes it a little bit more palatable. Mm-hmm. But for me, what does that is cheese. cheese. And there was no cheese in it at all. So it was really dry. But it was yummy. No, it was good. It was decent. It, it was me too of like Corona meaty. Burger. Yes, it was very Corona Burger. Corona Burger had good food. Yeah, breakfast. they did. Yeah, yeah. Gotta um, get back there soon. Corona I Burger. No, oh, where's that again? Corona. Oh, that's right. Anyway, keep going. Um. So anyway, yeah. I I just that was the one complaint. If it had cheese, I think it'd have been better. You probably. But it was still yummy. Has it was to still be pretty Chihuahua good. Chihuahua cheese, though, it can't be this garbage. Oh, no, there don't. There's no Chihuahua cheese in this in California. No, there is at the taco station. They have the Chihuahua cheese? They have white cheese that tastes like it. No. That's on the tacos every time we get it. They don't use the yellow cheese? I think they use Monterey Jack. Oh, I'm, I am dumb. No, I don't know. <laughs> you know we know them. I should probably call and ask. <laughs> yeah. What kind of cheese are you guys yeah, using? Right. If so, if it's Chihuahua cheese, can we buy in bulk from you? Yeah, right. Because we, <laughs> we've been searching everywhere since Mazatlan for that damn cheese. Um, anyway, it was pretty do. good, though. Our burgers... University Avenue, I believe. Maybe we'll go there and have a burger one day. And see what, the, yeah. See I mean, it's not like it's called our burritos. <laughs> <laughs> or our breakfast burritos. <laughs> right. It just happened to be the thing we got. But it was yummy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I'll give it a solid like seven and a half. Yeah. It, it, I needed it to be a little bit more juicy. That, that would be a good hangover burrito. Oh, no. I would agree. Yeah. Agreed. Lots of consistency in that burrito. <laughs> <laughs> What's that other thing we do right now? Uh, the right now, right now. All right, I'll go first because mine's fast. I got my very first mammogram today. By a doctor. (laughs) Funny. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. With like imaging, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, Was it like squishy? They like bleh, and oh, then blah. Yo, bleh. all right. It doesn't hurt per se, but it's super uncomfortable. Oh, I bet. So I was supposed to get mine a couple years ago, and and here's mine. I just turned forty. Okay, so you're really not supposed to get it till you're forty unless there's a history, some sort of family history. So then they'll say, okay, let's get it done sooner because your mom was this age, or your dad, or your mom's. Grandma or your any any maternal person in your family, it could be paternal too, um, that had breast cancer, right? So I know that my I believe, and this is this is a stretch because I didn't actually check, but I was trying to remember. I think my great 
grandmother, uh, great, great grandmother actually had cancer. And so there was that. And then my aunt on my grandfather's side had breast cancer for sure. Okay. And a few, a few other, you know, like not immediate family members. So that's all I put on the documents or whatever. But my doctor a couple of years ago, right before COVID, I'm not kidding, like a month before COVID, I went to my physical. Mm-hmm. She's like, you know, you never got a mammogram. You're, I mean, I know you're only a 36, 37. I think I was 37. Mm-hmm. And she's like, but I kind of think, you know what? Let's get one for you now because I want a baseline. Okay. So you're healthy now. It'll give us a good baseline of what your breasts look like now. And then in a couple of years when you get your regular one every year, we can look and say, okay, we'll base it off of this and this. Do they look different? So it took you three years to get an appointment? No. So, it was, <laughs> so I know. No, well, I mean, yeah, it was something like that. It was joke. maybe it was 20, maybe it was 38. But so, yeah, so I got it. COVID happened and then no one was going to the doctors or going and doing imaging. <laughs> well, no. Yeah. And I wasn't going to go. It was just like, I don't even think those, a lot of those places were even open unless you were had breast cancer already or like there was a lot of those kind of things going through treatment and all that so i i put it off i got another one in december the year after covid struck again so i put it off and then i turned 40 and then i went to the my physical uh last week and she's like yeah you never got your your breast exam huh your and i was like no because and she goes no no i get it i get it okay go do it now though yeah I was like, okay. So I went today. And I'm glad I did because I felt like I internally, I kept thinking, I am putting this off now. Even though I wasn't technically the age they say, Mm -hmm. you know, so. But I'm glad I did. And I keep thinking that how many people, how many women put it off? Oh, yeah. Don't do that. Who were supposed to, who were already 40 or, you know, who put it off and shouldn't have. If you, want to, if you want to get yelled at for doing that, listen to the other podcast on the platform called Handle with Care Cancer and Beyond. Yeah, I know. I know. And you know what? But that was ringing in my head. I know. Because I do listen to that podcast. Oh, yeah. I know. I know. And, I, and I'm on it. So I'm always constantly checking my own. Yeah. 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 And you're, I mean, like you, you have to do breast exams on yourself. Mm-hmm. I mean, on me. Thank you. Yeah, um, you're welcome. And then we've, we've never found anything abnormal, right, Chris? <laughs> No. Okay, well, they were good. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't found anything abnormal. I feel you all the time, and I never noticed. And I check every day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so right. there's that. So I, we'll see what, I'm sure I'm fine, but yeah. Well, my right now, right now is kind of funny, because I think our last show that we had. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. Was, it was the week before Halloween. Halloween. Which would have been a couple weeks after your brother's wedding, wedding. Yep. which we were in Mexico for, mm-hmm. and I hurt my finger. Yeah, and I think, did we mention, we had to have mentioned I'm it. sure we Yeah, did. we did. Okay, so your finger has obviously been really sore, mm-hmm. very swollen, mm-hmm. but it's, not not convinced it, it, anything else more than maybe it jammed, right? Yeah, I felt like it was jammed. I mean, I could close it most of the way, then it got stiffer and stiffer, and it was getting, I mean, if you just barely hit it, it was it, so painful. Yeah, like so. A, You could like flick it, okay? It's kind of like dudes with their testes. Oh wow. That's, that's how you your that? fing- that's how your finger went. Yes, because I've seen you accidentally flick. <laughs> oh, that's another story. <laughs> Say that one later. Don't, don't get sidetracked. <laughs> oh man, that that is a whole episode. Yeah, it is. We need to check it out. <laughs> you remember I've it. seen him knock himself out once and his he was fully clothed for the record. <laughs> okay, but yeah, your finger was you would barely tap it <laughs> on anything. <laughs> or the kids would hit it all the time. Yes, the kid, but not on purpose. No one was like trying to hurt you. Everyone no. would just grab your hand, or yeah, you'd, you'd grab my hand and hold the, it up, like ah! I was like, oh my god, I'm sorry, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> but yes, uh, it was broken. I finally went to the doctor because it was hurting so much. It was broken. It's freaking broken. You fought. You went last week mm-hmm. to finally go and see, you know what? This is just out of hand. Like, literally, literally. <laughs> and we we saw the X ray and we're like. Oh crap! It is broken. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have to have surgery, and the guy yeah. just gave me a lot of uh, anti-inflammatory stuff, mm-hmm. and then I just have to keep uh, moving it around to keep Looks it going. So much better now. It hurts still. Yeah, I um, know. That's and- why. Oh, hence the reason when we started the show, I was laughing. Yeah, oh, yes. He barely why. tapped it on his microphone, and he's like, uh, "I didn't even do that. I twisted it to point at you on your." And I twist, with the pen? Yeah, with the pen. I thought pen. you hit it on the microphone. No, I had the pen in my hand. I twisted the point of you, like, you start the show, and it, like, instantly tweaked it to a different angle that I hadn't been felt before, and, and it was, his, like, a sharp pain. His facial expression, I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> help I but like, laugh. Ah! But I had to be quiet, because the mics were on. Uh, but, but, except well, I, I laughed. <laughs> 
But yes, my finger's broken. Uh, oh, it's Chris. in rehab right now. Um, it's not allowed to drink. And um, <laughs> and I'm hoping it gets better quicker yeah. because I don't ever want to not be able to throw a ball or swing a bat. Um, but I also they, the doctor said you would be able to though, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but I did a lot of stuff during that 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 uh that month. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. I changed a tire on a car. I know. I'm we, sorry. Didn't we have to clean the house up and do things? I cut down parts of trees. Yeah. Like, I did a lot of yard work. I couldn't believe what you were doing with that <laughs> finger. Broken. That broken finger. Like, now I look back and I'm like, oh my God. And it was freaking broken all along. Now I feel like more of a man. You are. Uh, you, uh, you're uh, a man. You you muscled through that for a freaking month. The I one, cried like a baby every day. So the, the one thing, though, that I have to take your man card is for... How you broke it. Oh, yeah. No, we're not getting into that. <laughs> Come on. No, I broke it just by on accident. It was. It was. I accidentally punched this guy in the face. Oh, sure. Yeah. You should see the other guy. Yeah, his name was Sketcher. <laughs> All right. Let's, His shoe. Okay, go on. <laughs> Should we just go straight into our topic now? Yes. Now that we're in a in uh, laughing and you tell everyone uh, why we haven't done the show in the last month. Okay. All right. Many of you know. Uh, we suffered a very great family loss um, a few weeks ago. In fact, it was on Halloween. And that, again, so we did our last show right before. We had a big plan to talk about Halloween again and how it went and all these things and the party and uh, the week after. And our, our ugh, I think our family's world fell apart that for about a week. And I was not ready to talk about it. Yeah. Our family dog passed away on thing, on a Halloween. Zoe. Zoe was her Zoe. name. She was uh, God, 15 years old, almost mm-hmm. 16. Mm-hmm. Actually, just turned 16. No, 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 no. Just turned 15. Just turned 15. Just turned 15. Just turned 15 years old, which in dog years is like 177,422. Oh very old. <laughs> and if you, you obviously, if you've been here with us and you know, we've talked about Zoe in the past and especially after Mexico, you know, she got really, really sick around um, when we were gone in Mexico and, and my, the kids were having to take care of her and our um, my god sister who was watching the kids and they had to nurse her back to health and get her to the vet. And, and they like, did. And they did. And and she was doing really, really well. And, um, you know, oh, God, I, I don't know what to talk about. So anyway, on um, Halloween, we were preparing to go trick-or-treating and she... Uh, she fell ill again and then we couldn't bring her back we could not we could not resuscitate her so and it was heartbreaking it was really like a heartbreaking it was very traumatic everything that happened because it was very quick and there was no time to think and it was right in the uh right when we were all getting ready to go our neighbors had just come over you know, every, um, everything was happening all right at that point and um like literally it, yeah like we the kids were right about to go outside and yeah. We had just put things outside to sit out there while kids came by and um our whole night just absolutely shifted and that it did. It was traumatizing. I I I don't think you went back outside after you came inside with um with Zoe, with Zoe until mm-hmm. like late when because, I mean, the, the neighbors I, were nice enough. They hung out and oh, they gave were so, candy. They were so amazing. They kind of took over the duties of everything. Yeah, yeah, because the kids so the kids they didn't want to go trick or treating, but then our daughter, our littlest, and and keep in mind, Julene wasn't here. No, and it was her dog. She's she was three when we got the dog, and she was with her boyfriend. She was on her first trip, you know, up north to see her boyfriend, and so she was driving home. She was driving home, and so there was that that played into it. Our littlest girl, Cassandra, she wanted to go. She was like, "Well, I'll go trick or treating with the neighbor girls." Mm-hmm. They they are grown up girls, like they're you know in their teens, so they were like, "We're only going trick or treating because you got little kids and we want to go trick or treating." That gives us a good excuse, you know. I mean, like that's basically it. They wanted to take our kids trick or treating, exactly. And so they went. Aiden didn't want to go. Had to convince him, so they came back. Took him. Took him. They had a good time. They and we we tried to. 
make the most of it. And thank, honestly, thankfully to our neighbors and and you too, Chris, because I was a mess. I was, I fell apart. I did not know what to do. My brain was blank. I didn't. I we took care of it. That's why it was really hard. Yeah, it was. She uh, she she had a really rough time. I mean, for a couple weeks at least. Uh, you know, on top of everything else, we had um. You know, we had a wedding that we went to. Our refrigerator broke. Our dishwasher's still broken. Like, Aiden was on a TV show. Uh, it was our anniversary. Like, all this stuff yeah, was happening. Yeah, days later was our anniversary. So we didn't. you didn't have a whole lot of time to process it in a, in, in, in a long length. It was like, okay, I can process it for a little bit now, and then I got to go do this, and then as soon as I'm done doing this in a day, come back and process it more. So it did draw it out a little bit longer, but it sucked. It was really hard. It was very, very hard. So, you know, it's one of those things where, um, and I... Don't ever remember when I was younger. I remember losing our dog, but I I wasn't close with our. My, it was like my dad's dog. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's that always your sense? dad. It was my dad's dog. dog. Yeah, and I was sad. It was our family dog, but it wasn't the same. This was our dog. Like this was our family dog. This was my dog too. You know what I mean? When I, I felt first, like it was my dog. <laughs> uh, well, when I first came into the relationship, it was the first uh, Christmas, and that's when Santa brought. Yeah. So I was. Santa brought Zoe. I was didn't know anything. You know, yeah, I know how to yeah. take care of dogs. I know how to take care of all Yeah, and you and, I, you and I have been together about six months at that point. And, mm-hmm. you know, and I was like, well, we got a dog. You know, Santa said so. So, um, and that was actually a really big adventure for you and I as a new couple and a new, and a, our now trio turned to four. <laughs> yeah, it was because we had to, you know, if we're going to go anywhere, we got to make sure that Zoe was taken care of. Or if we're going to go camping or stay at a hotel, is it dog compatible? Do yeah. we sneak her into this one or <laughs> yeah. do we just she's tell kinda them? T- she's kind of tiny. We probably could sneak we her did in. sneak her into a lot <laughs> of hotels. hotels and hotels. But she, does, she was a dog that just sat there and chilled. She was a good girl. She took care of the kids so well. That was the only thing I asked of her when <laughs> she was little. I'm like, you just take care of these kids. And she did. Yeah. She'd go sit behind him when they were like babies sitting down on the carpet so they wouldn't fall backward. It was I mean, cute. just the cutest. She was, Chris always said she was a human dog. She wasn't like a yeah. dog dog. <laughs> Everybody's like, you have a dog. I know I have a pillow with feet, but she doesn't think like a dog. She's human. <laughs> She's definitely human. Uh, she was a good girl. And, um, you know, but and you go through this loss and, you know, we, I lost my grandfather this year and, and that was really heartbreaking and. But I felt like I was being there really for my dad more than anything else because I and you know he was going through so much heartbreak with that. Yeah, he was. You know, you you be, you become strong for other people, and in this case, I could not be strong. I couldn't be strong. I was. You were. It was my turn. Yeah, and yeah. I was. I the kids. Oh, Aiden, it was so hard. Aiden was pretty strong. Aiden was strong, and he and he gave us pep talks. Aiden gave us the most sweet pep talks talking about let's remember the good times we had and he was trying because he saw our faces you know so I ended up taking two days off of work because yeah. I was just so distraught we ended up you know having to break the news to Julene Julene and I still have moments where we'll just talk about something and then it's like can't talk about that anymore you know like it just it's too much I can't read poems I can't read there's some that just Oh, it's just too much. I I did not realize how hard it was to lose an animal that you love so much. I didn't realize. I don't know why. I, did, I knew it was going to be sad, but I didn't know it would be like this. Yeah, it was. Um, it was like a. I don't want to ever say it's like my kid, but it it was. It felt like that. You know what I mean? It felt like a uh, that very strong little person in our life who never uh, complained just, a lot less never, than our children. Never I can complained. Tell you that. <laughs> Oh, Look so at we little pictures. Oh, I got, I'm pulling up some pictures. Oh, you're gonna at. make me cry. That's the whole idea. You're no, supposed no, to. No, we no, get no. more ratings. I wow, that one's even... pretty recent. That one's recent. That one's this year. Yeah, that's just a few weeks ago, probably. Yeah. About... So we we ended up. I I didn't know what to do after. I don't know. I'd never been through this, so I ended up getting on the phone and in the morning, early morning. We, we early you didn't sleep early. Much. I didn't sleep, and then well, we kind of slept with her as she really passed, and then. And then in the morning, uh, she's so tiny in that little pic- in that picture. Look at how <laughs> tiny she is. Um, called, I found this place that's like a mobile cremation. Which is crazy to hear or think about, but it's true. It's re- it's cool. It's actually really a great thing because they do the work for you. You don't have to 
worry about a lot of it. So yeah. anyway, they, they, they handled her and we got a, a little urn and a paw print and her leashes on there. Her, I, yeah. We put her, well, her collar, we put her, her collar, collar on, not leash, sorry. on the little urn. It's this <laughs> tiny little urn and it's just so cute. And, Oh, it's heartbreaking. Well, I, I got to put together, I want to put together like a cool little thing where I'm going to put her picture in it and we're going to put it on our shelf and have it all together. And I know I'm not going to ever be over her. No, nah, she was one of a kind dog. I don't I even like her. dogs. I know. That's what's weird. But I I was also there from the beginning and I she I I, I trained her in a sense. Yeah, yeah. Between, you know, Julene and I and it's because if she was at school and yeah. you were at work or vice versa, somebody had to take Zoe out to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Or, you know, there was no grass. It was just all concrete in the back patio. So we walked out front. and mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, those are things that I totally forgot about doing. Yeah. I remember she's an escape artist. She used to escape from everything. Oh, my gosh. I ha- We could not contain her when she was a little one. Uh-huh. Even when she was bigger, she just stopped doing it because it was too much effort. Yeah. <laughs> she could get out of anything. She was... Uh, she, she had hops. She did. She had hops. She had hops. She could jump on the couch up to the week before. Yeah. When she, Even after she got sick when we were in Mexico and then she got better between that time and when she passed, she was able to jump back on the she couch. She got figured out how to get back up on the couch for like her legs. She She's had, early. Oh, she was such a good baby. And... We love her so much. And so that is the reason we have not 100% that that is the reason we have not recorded because I was not ready to talk about it. And I'm really proud of myself right now because I did not, I did not break down. Let me find a good picture. Don't do that. (laughs) Don't don't do that to me. I won't. I'll stop. Well, right now I have all of these, like, you know, I have moments. So I know know you've seen me. And then she came to my dad's in my dad's dream. Oh, really? And that. I couldn't handle it. And then I was I like, like you don't, please don't talk to me. And then, and then I was like, she doesn't come to my dreams at all. And, and I want her to, I want to oh. know she's okay. Right. And then she came to Julene's dream two nights ago. I didn't know either of those things. I know. And then Julene came to me and she's like, she was in my dream. And I was like, don't tell me. Okay. No, don't, I don't tell me later. Damn it. Okay. They're not <laughs> <laughs> and we got her everyone. Don't, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Well, we love you, Zoe. Oh, yes. We love and we miss Zoe. And we'll be better about recording every week. Mm-hmm. It's just hard. It was just hard. I couldn't. I could, I, uh, I, we'll there would it. be no way to do this show without bringing up what ha- this traumatic thing that happened mm-hmm. in our family's yeah. lives. So I just knew. We, I was like, nope, can't do it till we're ready to talk about it. So there it is. Yeah. R.I.P. Zoe. The, the sweetest Bestest, amazing dog in the entire world. I don't know how. I, I I can't even think about another dog. Like it's just so. I know one day maybe we will, but how we got lucky this year? How do we? A, how will we ever be able to have a dog that would live up to Zoe? Do you know what I mean? Like I don't even. The only way to do that is physically get a taller dog. <laughs> that'd be the only way. <laughs> we have to get a bigger dog, and I know that ain't happening. Nope. <laughs> Chris ain't gonna let that. Sure happen. <laughs> So he was little, by the way. Yeah. She was a Maltese Shih Tzu. So she was, she was Hello a small one. Yes. She was a sweet, sweet baby. Okay. Well, everybody, thank you so much for listening. Yeah. Go to thisisfunner.com and check out all the other podcasts and uh, online content we have up there. There's a sports show with my buddy Sticks, And uh, uh, I do a, Aiden's got his podcast about uh, video games called Aiden's Arcade Academy. Yay. And we have some really cool ones launching next year. Yeah. It's yeah. Be dope. Yeah. So sit around, hang out for those, and, and let, catch up on all the other ones on that website. Yeah. And if you've never started our podcast from the beginning, I highly recommend recommend you do because yes. you'll see that we get m- more and more worse at it and um <laughs> more, more worse. She's, a, <laughs> she's a professional broadcaster people more like, and more worse I, look i'm tired okay i was prodded today i was squeezed through a machine <laughs> but again our company is funner so keep going i'm just trying to be funner with my speech no you'll see we get progressively worse there you go <laughs> <laughs> Also, there's a couple in there that, that if you just listen to one or two, uh, anything that has to do with me hurting myself usually oh, goes to the top. There's a lot of those. There's a lot of episodes where Chris messes his face up, his fingers, his breakdowns. I mean, there's lots of there's lots of fun stuff with Chris. Yeah, we even talked about my shin. Anyway, let's uh, keep going. <laughs> Jeez, Christopher. Chris underscore Donovan, Evelyn Arrivas across all platforms. And until next time. We'll catch you later. Come receipt with us. Come receipt with us.
Thank you for listening to Conversation with us. Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Ah, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kids' PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.